What's up, everybody? Passion here. I hope you're having a great day. Um, in my last video in Art Vlog 046, I went over how back in my roughly who about 10 years ago, um, I started. I wanted to learn how to sculpt, but I didn't know where to start. So I found these guys online that were sculpting on action figures, making some cool pieces of stuff, reselling it, doing jobs building stuff for their collection and I got into it um, so if you've been a fan of my channel or Facebook and my social media you're gonna see everything from stage props to action figures I mean I've done a little bit of everything uh, today I'm sharing a personal project um, I got a buddy call uh, named Hans Geis who is a phenomenal mural painter his brother can paint anything I'm telling anything well uh, for Father's Day one year, again, this is 2006-07, um, he painted this picture. Uh, he is a uh, fellow brother in Christ here, man of faith. Um, he painted me this picture for Father's Day, the lamb, the lion, and Jesus. Um, my wife was involved. Um, it was, was a present. And then his birthday started coming around. Well, to return the favor... Um, I invested in in a little project so <laughs> bear with me for a second all right I'm gonna walk you through something so I took this figure right here um, I like the frame of this figure I like that he almost had shorts on so I took this figure I took the hands off I took his head off um, I found a NASCAR figure I don't think it was this guy here. I believe this is was it Casey Kane. Yeah. Um, I, I had a NASCAR figure that I removed the head, and then I found I had this case right here. This is what you call a spawn uh, figure deluxe case. Um, this was a series that came out where all the deluxe figures were in this case. You know, it was a. It was a deluxe deal and it was an awesome case so I used half this plastic frame I used the head off of a NASCAR figure and <clears throat> and I used this body so here we go we'll fast forward and BAM there you go so here's the case um, here is the uh, the back wall of that case uh, NASCAR head that body I had to shave off the big old belly on it threw on some hands and voila, this is my starting point. Now, <clears throat> with this project here, um, wasn't quite sure how I was gonna approach it. <clears throat> Sorry guys. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> there we go. Um, so what I did was I started with the, the, with the, um, the frame of it, I glued some sand because I wanted to make a concrete floor. I found this air compressor on eBay. Now, at the time, I recall this air compressor being like red and blue and silver. I ordered it for like three bucks. I got it in and it was pink. I was like, really? I found it strange. Uh, robbed this um, radio here in the back from my daughter's Barbie collection. All right, so there you go. I'm starting to make a diorama of his little of his little studio. Now, here is a miniature picture of the painting he made me. So that's the painting, and this is me um, starting to prep it as as if he was working on it, right? So here we go, um, taking some epoxy sculpt, uh, extending these boxers to make shorts. Um, adding some sleeves to make it come off like this is a big old t-shirt add a little hair on this figure starting to fill in the gaps as you can see I painted the floor right here to kind of give it a concrete feel a little detail of the pockets and on the front of the shorts again this is like one of my f second or third sculpting jobs I didn't know what I was doing but I was winging it for sure so here we go um, add some textures to the back wall prime my figure and some uh, gray close up of my boy Hans. All right, now we're starting to add detail. So uh, 
if you remember that air compressor was um, pink and I painted the detail added a, a little place to plug it in some newspaper on the floor starting to build a frame um, <clears throat> all right so here you go this is Hans working on my painting and I made a bunch of airbrush guns these are beads from necklaces um, here is a nail right here um, going through some little beads this is all super glued together little plastic tubing all hooked up to the air compressor um, this was the original picture that he was working off of so I thought it'd be cool to add it to this set um, here's that pink radio painted it just a normal color um, threw in some books try to add some details to the wall made a calendar um, now that I'm seeing these pictures again this was probably around his birthday so this was done in 2006 and that's Hans and his wife and their little girl and um, and voila so that is a miniature uh, diorama of him working on my painting and um, there he is uh, this was one of these projects that I was just proud to do um, overall I think I did a pretty good job on the creativity part of it trying to put something together um, not knowing what I was doing um, had a vision in mind trying to re repay the flight favor and that's what I ended up with uh, I love the way this come out he has this in his studio right now we all had a big laugh of it and um, anytime you do a project that has a personal touch to it it always feels good when you get to the end and the person likes it um, and I, I love the details here I added I think these were some toothpicks and some cups to make it look like his paint brushes were setting um, again here's Hans I think I added a watch here put a cell phone in his hand now my favorite part of this is my buddy is always in his flip-flops it doesn't matter if it's a if it's if it's 20 below he is always somewhere on a scaffold uh, in a studio in his flip-flops so I had to add the flip-flops to the deal um, so that was just a little joke from me to him again I love the way it came out again this was one of my first second third sculpting jobs so I hope you enjoy this video um, and I'm going back sharing some of my old stuff so you're gonna see a lot of stuff in the beginning stages of me just trying to learn I know if I approach this project today it would almost be completely different but yet the same and uh, I hope you enjoyed it so thank you for your time uh, be cool be safe tie your shoes and always live your passion peace <laughs>